get more reaction here in Canberra to the budget. You just heard Jim Chalmers there talking about the budget surplus that's going to be forecast. National Senator Matt Canavan here, here in the studio with me. You've brought in some coal, I thought Actually, you might... Actually, I brought in the budget surplus, Tom. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> this is it right here. It's delivering this a, a lot of we're... money. It's delivering a lot of money. Yeah. It's the only reason we're getting a surplus. Uh... I thought you might have... Was... We'll go through the other reasons, but I thought you might have brought in a back in black mug from the Coalition <laughs> days. You're not well, going to celebrate I mean, we're still, at that, we're still in that situation. This is not actually a surplus, of course. It's a predicted surplus for, for next year. But uh, this financial so, year so, is well, when it's for... Yeah, OK, right. So we've still got a, a month or two to go, but... Um, We'll see how we go. But it's not its not due to any government decision, obviously, because next year we go back to deficit. I mean, if this had been a result of government decisions, uh, they would have um, they would have, they would have been able to produce surpluses and predict surpluses for years ahead. Well, this is obviously that, just, this is spending, obviously just yeah, because of a coincidence. There are spending bounty, pressures that, thanks that to come on to it. But it's because of many government decisions. I mean, we'll just take one, the low and middle income tax offset. When Labor decided they'd drop that... That's for next year, though. Peter Dutton said he yeah. would be... that he yeah. considered that somewhat that's sneaky. Not for this, that's not for this financial year, though. That's not affecting this financial year. This, this financial year is because of the massive bounty come from the hard, hard work of men and women in our resources sector. Now, the test for the Treasurer and the Labor Party today is will they recognise that? Are they going to take credit for the surplus or are they going to actually say thanks? Uh, to uh, many of the men and women who spend time away from their families working in our mining industry. I never hear the Labor Party, you know, mention one word of gratitude uh, to the men and women who work in high-vis anymore. They just don't. Mm. They ignore them. Uh, and this, this surplus tonight is only due to that sector. It wouldn't happen without them. And well, it's, uh, will they say thanks okay, to them? But they've, they've, got, they've got I'm huge not, improvements in the budget and bottom line. Um, they could have spent it all. They didn't. That's what's happened. No, they have spent a lot too. This, this, yep. Well, just hang on. Let, yep. let me get the question out. This financial year, for example, when the Coalition was last in office, this financial year, you made extra spending decisions of $17.2 billion. Well, and, and this, this, this first... The last budget, I haven't got the figures for tonight, obviously... Uh, but uh, their budget in October last year had government spending increasing by $130 billion over the Ford estimates. In the first four years of the coalition government, spending only increased by $36 billion. So, yeah, you know, this government is, is a high-spending government. It's exactly the wrong recipe right now. Well, inflation is very high. But it's they're very... banked of this financial year 82%. This is net, but that's only because eighty-two percent so yep. of the improvements. They can only so, yep. so you know the best you can do is hundred. They're at eighty-two. We're also obviously in a cost of living crisis where they're going to provide things such as power relief, which I'm sure you're supporting. So, well, uh, yeah. Look, I, I don't I don't resolve from some level of support here, but mm. a fourteen billion dollar uh, welfare package uh, is not uh, not fighting inflation. The reason your interest rates are going up, the reason why the Reserve Bank mm. has to act is because this government... From the measures we've seen so far, what would you oppose of them? Well, I, I think we've got to really seriously look at uh, whether or not uh, the job seeker rate should go up. Uh, it's been going up with inflation. So anyone that's on welfare, anyone that's, that's on a government payment, goes up with the consumer price index. So their, their rates of pay, which I recognise are often or rates of, risk, rates of, uh, of uh, support, uh, which I recognise are low and tough for people on those claims... They, they go up with inflation every year, so they've been going up at 7 or 8% over the last year. Whereas a worker out there, you know, the people who are listening to this today who are, who are working for the man, uh, they're not getting a pay rise of 7 or 8%. Uh, the average wage is only going up 4 so or 5%. You, so they're you, going you'd behind. You'd any increase in job Well, figure. I think that's got to be looked at. Look, I, I haven't got the details yet, mm. Tom, so it's very hard to okay. respond to something we haven't so seen. Fair but Single parent payment? What about that one? Well, look, again, I, I think that's something that needs to be looked at. I... I just wonder whether this is the right time to do that. It seems a very costly initiative. Uh, we're, we're, sit we're talking about my understanding of the change, which I only read from reports, is that we're talking about payments to single mothers with children above the age of eight. Now, obviously... Being uh, when, extended to 14. Yeah, right? and, and obviously, when, when, you know, once your children get to that sort of age, they're going to school, and perhaps they should mm. require parents to, 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 right. to, to work as well. Because, as I say, at this time, we've got to fight inflation. And there's nothing that I can see so far from what's been leaked that shows the government is serious about getting the inflation down and helping other people's budgets apart from their own. PRRT change, get a bit more revenue from the gas export industry, which the industry and companies seem to have accepted. What do you think of it? Look, I'm not against reform of tax systems from time to time. Uh, once again, though, going back to what I was saying before, the problem here is, in context, the government is not showing any kind of 
uh, support or love for the resources sector. What, what, uh, hang on, what do you want them to say? Have the tax then go, we love you. Yeah, well, well, well no, not put on price caps, not put on export controls, yeah, not I, put on I, extra red I, tape. I, That's the problem. I mean, the cumulative I issue do, We're is, limited on time, so I can't yeah. get into all of that, but just treating the tax yeah. change as it's... Well, uh, look, the again, industry I, seems I, pretty happy. I have to, we haven't Woodside's seen... Woodside's price even went up after we haven't, it came out. Yeah, as I said, I'm not against reform, but we have to see... The sky's falling in on this money. We have to see the detail here. We haven't yet. All we've got is some broad-based figures. Mm. But again, we, we should be attracting investment in this sector given prices where they're at. When but should we also right be now. getting a, a good return on it for Australian Well, yeah, and, and look, um, as I said, well, this is, this is the, the changes tonight, my understanding, are they're a result of a review the Coalition Government started. So, you know, we weren't against sort of changes to... Just well, I to mean, look, track. it's a very complicated tax, tax mm. change. I mean, it's good for the budget right. to have this extra money, but it's not going to... It's not changing the world either, let's face it. Matt Canavan, thank you. Thanks, Tom. Cheers, mate.